Hi, everybody. Welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Miles Jackson and Chris Bacon as we get ready to give you the Southeastern Conference matchup between visiting Hilltoppers, Durfee Hilltoppers, and, of course, the Brockton Boxers. Guys, it should be a great game tonight. Yeah, it definitely should. Um, always when um, Durfee and Brockton meet, they usually give each other a good run for each other's money. Um, Durfee coming here at 5-9. and nine. Unfortunately, excuse me, Brockton coming in here at 5-9. and nine. But uh, Lady Hilltoppers have yet to uh, win a game this season, so maybe they can rise up to the challenge and uh, give Brockton Boxer the run for their money. Well, yeah, he has a short Usually conference games bring out the best in both teams. Um, Durfee winless, obviously, but, you know, they can still come up with a lot of the extra plays, hustle, see what they do tonight. Absolutely. All right, so here we go. I have one change. I don't see a number one before the Durfee Hilltoppers. Do you have that same problem? Yeah, she was first one announced in the, in the lineup, yeah. but I didn't see it on here, so we'll get it. All right, so there we go. Tip one by Brockton. And just like that, there's Williams in the baseline. She works it inside off the glass. Can't finish. Rebound Durfee. Now in the break. Here come the Hilltoppers moving fast. As they work it around the perimeter. Callahan now, and that's stolen as Fernandez steps in front of that one. Yeah, not a good pass by Durfee's offense there. Now Williams thinking about driving, kicked it over to Fernandez, and then let's say it was touched by a Durfee Hilltopper, so there's no backcourt. Now Dingle pivoting, Williams. Thinking about a nice move inside dish to Fernandez, lost control. And we're gonna have a travel on Durfee's Fernandez. Durfee's D early on looking very impressive. Yeah, I tell you, uh, Durfee, uh, their defense, they're double teaming whoever has the ball right away. All right, now here come the Hilltoppers now. No score yet, under a minute into the game already. Almost losing the ball, but regroup, regrouping. Now back out to Cali on top of the key, tries to drive, kicks it back out to the far side. That's Montana's, there's a shot by her, that won't go. She falls funny on her ankles, and off the glass and in. Yeah, nice job by uh, Sterling. Getting Durfee's inside. gonna have any chance in this game, they're gonna have to keep the lead up early and keep the intensity up. Rebound Durfee. Yeah, golden opportunity right there for the boxes. They were right in the paint, just couldn't finish the play. Now driving Callahan in a little off the glass from the bit, little alley oop there, not alley oop, a little finesse there from the baseline. That won't fall. Rebound boxes. Durfee's got a couple open looks here early already. Williams tried really hard to thread the needle there. She was trying to use two girls as uh, practice cones there for a minute, but out of bound, last touch by Durfee. Brockton ball inside. Fernandez now, she pivots, she moves high up the glass and gets the roll into the fall. Yeah, nice job by the um, Lady Boxes. Most of their shots have been inside, which is a good sign, just trying to work it inside. Maybe get a few fouls and get this Durfee team in trouble. No, the inside game definitely opens up the outer shooting by both teams. Now Callahan, she works it high inside to number one, and we apologize, we missed, I believe that's Carrero, but we'll get that correction. And we'll have a foul, the first foul on the game. Gonna have a push on Cruz. Her first team first. 5.45 left in the first period. Again, Durfee's getting great shots, wide open looks down low. Yeah, we've got Elizabeth Williams just checked in. One of the two tandem Williams sisters, Elizabeth and Alexandra. They work with all baseline thing. Are they going to get her for traveling? Yeah. All right, so here comes the Hilltop is up by two, as you can see. Thinking about driving, but stepping back. Works it inside. That's knocked away. Great defense by the boxers. Yeah, that was Tannis. Great job by that young lady. Yeah. Tannis is the main force in the middle for the boxers this year. 
Now driving, skiing back out to Cal. Durfee's without their main force inside, leading rebounder in the conference, 12 a game. Have a jump ball, possession arrow will go in favor of the boxers. Oh, I, I apologize. Possession now goes in favor of the Hilltoppers. Yeah, the Lady Hilltoppers a little confused themselves. Didn't realize it was their, um, their the, ball. Yeah, there's a long shot for three. Won't go. Rebound. Oh. Williams. Last Fox has got away with that when um, yep. Dominic. That was off one of Williams' sisters there. And she knew it, too. She yeah. was bodying her. She knew it was off her. Needless to say, it's Boxer's ball. Five minutes left, and yeah, they're gonna call over the top there on number 24. Yeah, no, you gotta like Durfee's defense. They're extending. They're no nothing easy for the boxers. So Torres is first, team second. 5:02 left in this first period, and we're gonna have another foul. And Torres gets credit for another foul, just yeah. like that. Long pass. Now Williams. Nice dribble, nice handles by that young lady. Goes around, tries to kick it in. There's a long shot. Didn't have a jump ball. Well, if Williams is able to get past the first uh, wave of defenders, there's a lot of open players. There's about two or three people open. Brockton ball. Williams has a look for three. That won't go. Rebound, Durfee. Now here come the Hilltoppers. As Torres stops, covered by Williams. Her floater high off the glass won't go. Rebound Tannis. Tannis up to Williams. Quick break. And Ding lays up the glass and finishes. Nice job. As, excuse me, Montero finishes. Yeah, great job. Fox is moving the ball down the court very quickly. Get back. And again, a quick break this time off the Williams from Pitt. Find the back, Montero! Oh. Oh. Durfee can't be letting that happen. Back to back, fast break baskets, and Brockton in the lead now. Yeah, that was a beautiful behind the back pass by um, and, and Alexandra Williams. No, I think that was Elizabeth Williams. Number 22. Anyway, one of the Williams sisters, nice job there. Give the whole family credit on that yeah. one. <laughs> And they're gonna get her traveling. Yeah, traveling. Certainly creating a lot of offense. Let's for see them, here. Though. Yeah, that was Alexandra, number 22. Might be on Sports Center tonight. Da -na -na, da -na -na. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lead is one for Durfee. Here it is. As they working inside, and Callahan had one, but Williams blocked it yeah. as she tried to go hook shot from the baseline. Elizabeth playing big defense inside, rejecting the shot. Long shot by Torres, rebound Brockton. 317 left and running. Long pass just out of the reach of Dingle. Brockton's really running the floor here early. So Durfee's ball up by one, as you can see on your monitor, as you can see on your television, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not sure how long Durfee can keep up this pace with the boxes. They don't have a strong bench, yeah. and that's going to cause problems for the Hilltoppers. Well, especially easy points from Brockton. They had two fast break layups, and that's just a no-go if you're Durfee. Nice finish by there. The lead is now three. 2.52 left in the first quarter. And with the turnover, the Hilltoppers playing aggressively. They come for the a defense as Cruz started that turnover and finished it. Now in the Brockton end. Torres out to Cruz, thinking three. Bounce pass to the other side to Sterling, and that's a takeaway for the boxers. Long break. Williams is going to try to finish. She stops. I thought she was, I thought she was going to bounce. Excellent handles by that young lady. Gets it all the way over to her sister. Elizabeth, there's a shot, won't go. Rebound Brockton, which we have here. I think they're gonna give it to the Hilltoppers. We'll see, it was last touched by Elizabeth Williams. 
a lot of turnovers leading to points for uh, the boxers or opportunities. I tell you, the boxers doing a great job driving to the basket. Yeah, they. I think they've only taken one jump shot. All yeah, day. most of their offense have been in the paint. Brockton going to the out's version of the half court press here. They try to trap in. Stern, no. And just like that, wins a little shot off the glass. Oh, she, she couldn't finish. She didn't look. I'm surprised she just didn't drive right in. Yeah, she. I think if she looked and she had a replay on that one, she would have thought maybe thought take, take maybe a layup there. Maybe drive to the basket, yeah. Officially, she was about a foot away, too. Absolutely. And uh, usually, if, if you're that close, put it off the backboard. Yeah, she tried to, I don't know, she got yeah. in this decisive. I think yeah. she tried to do both and resulted in no-go. All right, here comes Torres now, covered by King. She's my favorite, one of my favorite players on this Brockton team in 2019-20. Now driving Sterling up the glass and finishes. Durfee not doing a bad job on their inside game either. Yeah, Durfee's definitely emphasizing getting the ball in the low post and trying to score. Both teams doing a really good job of that so far. And Montero stepped on the far line, so we have a change of possession. They work it back and forth around the perimeter. Torres thinking about driving, lost the ball, but we're gonna have a foul hit in the hand by King. King had a bit lot of responsibility in the Notre Dame game. She had to fill the shoes for the two Williams girls, and she got into foul trouble early as she started that game against Notre Dame. Yeah. And Coach Hatcher did everything in her power to keep her cool. Yeah. <laughs> Kanari King, good ball player. She just has to keep her head in the game. And like you said, don't lose your cool, don't get too frustrated. They work it all the way back to the far perimeter. There's a shot for three, no good on the rebound, the Hilltoppers. And now the bounds are gonna say it was last touched. By the boxes. By the boxes. Well, so Gatto definitely making up for the lack of uh, rebounding that they're missing. Just seems to be doing a great job inside. You got timeout, timeout, here's your situation. 51.1 tenths of a second left, 11 to six. Hilltoppers. Chris, congratulations, your first game coming in here. Your thoughts so far? I think uh, so far, you know, you got the Hilltoppers that, they haven't won a game, but they are playing like, they, uh, they want to win one tonight, and you know, they're trying to show their rivals, the boxers, that they can win a game. And you know what, they are a team, you know, don't take us lightly tonight. Absolutely. I think they might know they're on TV too. <laughs> <laughs> Those national television games always getting you ready. Jada Holly, thank you. So Jada Holly is number one. It's official. Okay. We can you can read it on her birth certificate too. That's Jada Holly, number one. All right. So here we go as we come out of the break. Again, your your situation: 51.1 tenths of a second left. In this first period, 11 to six Hilltoppers. Hilltoppers have three, three team fouls. Brockton only with one. So off the inbound, let's see if Co Coach Hatcher uh, instilled some confidence in these uh, lady boxers. Stopping and thinking about going, that was Chin, and that could be a backcourt, and it's going to be. Surfy's lucky to only have that be a backcourt there. Most of the boxers' points tonight have been in transition. And that was caused by the Lady Boxers' good defense. And right in front of us is a, of course, that was Alexandra Williams, very good ball player. Now King trying to get his nice pass to the side to Dingle. Dingle all the way back to Williams, top of the key. And there's a good look by Montero. Bang. Hits. Nice ball movement by the uh, um, Lady Boxers around their horn. That's a low yeah, Their guards for the Lady Boxers definitely creating a lot of their offense. Now driving his chin back to Torres on the other side to try to work it back in, but now in the game, they have the big stopper, number 21, Oko. That young lady takes up a lot of space in the paint. If I'm Durfee, I hope for the last shot here. No. Oko's only a junior. Now off the inbound driving and pivoting is, is Holly. That won't go out of bounds. It will be Brockton's ball. 
with 8.7 tenths of a second. If I'm Brock, and I just want to try to end up just finish, finish with a good rhythm here, at least put one in the cylinder. Well, I mean, if they can end this quarter tied, that would be big for them. Williams going to try to... It is a shot by Montero. Yes. And it hits for three. And the boxers take the lead to end the, end the period 12 to 11. Well, I guess they heard us. Here's our look. You can see the shot clock winding down. No seconds left, just as it left, left her hand. And she hits the big uh, points right there. Yeah, she's two for two from outside. And right away, last 50 seconds, the game totally turns around right in the boxer's favor. Now, if I can, gentlemen, real fast, just so we can give the people back home a little uh, a little uh, highlight what's going on with Hilltopper girls basketball. Number 22, Landra Karen is out for the year. Number 14, Lauren Kutcher, she's sick. The Southeastern Conference rebound leader that averages 12 points a game, Cameron, Cam Cameron Lewis, number 32, she's out. Celine Mayette, she's also out with an injury. Yaline Rivera is out with an injury and out for the season is Samantha Soares. So you have to get a tip you hat to Coach Smith. He has a, he's working with the bench. He called up one, he called up five juniors to JV players for this game. And, and one of the big problems with that, those ladies that are out, two of them are their centers. Yeah. So that, that really hurts. They, they lack some height in there. Um, so it, they're really hurting this year. Very impressed with the Durfee, Durfee Hilltoppers effort in this uh, first period. I mean, you probably could not tell that a lot of those players are out. They're only down one. They were in the lead that whole period. And, I mean, they've, they've played impressive so far. They really can't, you know, whack them for what they're missing. All right, so here we go as we start the second period. And they're going to get, <laughs> they're going to get uh, Cruz too many steps. We have to call that taking the luggage, right, Kevin? Yeah, and you see the coach? Hilltop is coach telling her to uh, pass the ball. Now Williams sees King. King tries to finish off the glass, gets the roll. Tough angle for a small girl like that. And she was in the air when she shot that. She did not put it back on the floor. That was a tough shot. Yeah, you don't want to bring the ball down. That's where the defenders, the guards, they can strip it down. And that's where you lose the ball. Now Torres covered by double team to buy Dingle and King. King almost picked her pocket. As Cruz for a moment lost the lost control of the ball. Now the other side. Durfee's offense just becomes stagnant here the last couple of minutes. And Holly lost the ball, but is out of bounds. Now Callahan, she had a great first quarter. She comes in for Holly. Definitely need her. She had a great first period. So now off the inbound. Chin. Long three for Torres. Uh, the smallest girl, Chin, the JV player, got the ball. <laughs> and now the fighting, and we're going to have a jump ball between, looks like it's going to be between King and Cruz. Possession arrow goes in favor of the boxers. Looks like they might try to go to some of their version of the full court press, but Brockton opens it up right away to get out of this full court press. Williams, long pass, King can finish. Her jump shot from the baseline won't go. Well, early on, Brockton's that's what ball. Durfee was doing. They're pressuring the ball handlers. Looks like they're trying to get back to that here. I tell you, this Durfee Hill, Lady Hilltop, they're very scrappy. Yep. Yeah, they, uh, do, they, don't, they don't want to go away. They're, they're missing guys, but you know that's not an excuse for them. They're going to fight tonight. I'm sure the coach at the end of the night knows you know whoever we got out there is who we're playing with. Tanis just finished that inside inside pass with two. Yeah, that was a nice, nice job by Tanis moving without the basketball. Hill Topper swinging it around the perimeter baseline shot, long three hits. Whoa! Wow, was zero on an apple. I haven't seen a shot like that in a while. But she I made that, that one might have hit easy. the ceiling there. That was a yeah. lollipop bomb. She almost knocked the dust off the rafters. <laughs> and again, opening up, there's a shot high, too strong, coming down with her own layup off her own. Wow. Montero, she'll get called for the travel. Oh, that was, that was a tough call right there on Montero. Dingle sits down, Williams checks in for the boxers. Timeout, timeout, Durfee. Guys, we get ourselves a game here. Yeah, I, like I said, the Lady Hilltoppers are really scrapping out there. 
to stay with the uh, Lady Boxers. Again, the problem with the Lady Hilltop is they don't have much of a bench, but that's what they're going to have to do. They have to scrap and claw for every little point that, Absolutely. that, that they can get. As you said earlier, the two centers are out. I mean, their interior defense, they're going to give up stuff in the paint, and that's what we've been seeing almost all night other than those two outside shots. You know, it's, I'm so glad the SEC, um, the basketball refs, with, they went with uh, three-man teams. Best thing they, they could have. They really needed it in, in the Cambridge Ridge and Latin boys game. Yeah, yeah, it was quite surprising. Maybe the, that third ref was out sick or anything. I couldn't quite understand why they would just have two refs. Fortunately, Brockton did come out of there a winner in a, in a good, tight, yeah. tough ball game. And you know, just and both teams like this call went this way. It is what it was. I mean, you can do you only can do so much with two guys, but I'm I'm happy to see three tonight. All right, so off the inbound here come the Hilltoppers. Brock and had their full court press running, and we're gonna have a block. We're gonna call that on. Look like she was in the shooting motion. I don't know if that's on the floor. No, uh, I think that's gonna call that on the floor. Yeah, so Tannis, but that was a tough call. It looked like. The ball carrier lost the ball yeah, be just before the contact. I think that's what he saw. I, she tried to go up with it, but I don't know if she had possession of it. There's a shot by Chen, won't go. Rebound boxes. Oh, they threw it to Torres for a shot. Won't go. And we're gonna have a foul. We'll call that on King. Her first team first. Both teams have three call personal actually fouls. Actually helps the boxers. It looked like she had an open layup there. One thing the boxers have to do on defense, they have to be a little more aggressive going after that basketball. Yeah, the you know, Hilltoppers shot. second chances it's, right now. Yeah, it looks like are really yeah, killing the boxers. There'd be too many second chances, and they're really go going after the ball. Boxers got a lady. Boxers got to work on that. Now Williams. Wow, oh, nice. tennis wide open. Oh, wow. she couldn't finish too strong. She's able to get her own rebound. And what do we, and we have a jump ball. I couldn't Williams see sees this whole floor. She, she's made some unbelievable passes already tonight. It's only a quarter in. Yeah, golden opportunity right there by Tannis. Could not capitalize. I think, and we saw that earlier in the game, a missed layup. All right, they're working around inside. Holly got blocked, blocked by... Williams, now the oldest sister's gonna try to finish. Little bit too much, Finesse gets her own rebound. But off that rebound, here come the Hilltoppers. Now Holly, and that ball's kicked. Oh, Fox has got away with oh one right boy. there. That's Little two. home court cook in there. Yeah, one of Williams' sisters did, number three. That was a kick ball by Elizabeth, but the referees did not see it. Long pass. Tannis now, almost lost to Flores. And Hawley stepped in front of that one and knocked out of bounds. I'm loving Durfee's D right now. They're, they're really jumping the passing lanes. They're making it tough. I mean, Hawks are getting open looks, but not without earning them. Officially 5.02 left in this half. Williams telling the other one to cut. Little give and go. She has a funny hook shot, won't go. Rebound, Hilltoppers. Now Callahan. The lead is two for Brockton. And off that, here comes Williams again. Trying to finish high up the glass. Oh, too strong. There seems to be a lid on that basket right now. It just cannot get yep. a layup or anything to go. Lady Boxers can't buy a shot. And what a crazy angle shot for Holly. She came in and, I mean, that was a tough angle in its own right. She able to get that through the cylinder with tied at 16. And body's flying. But yeah. Ref's letting them play. Shot for three, baseline off the rim, too strong. Rebound. Mazine, they're gonna get her for a travel. She tried to feed her the ten to ten as previously from the baseline, so we'll have a change of possession. Foster's getting open looks. They just have not been able to make a shot here. Now Cruz. Cruz long past the corner. Wow. Torres. I wasn't being able to catch that ball. And I know I have a vertical uh, disadvantage with, with what I have around my, my around my belly, but I still couldn't have caught that ball. Hey, if Tom Brady leaves, maybe she can fill his, his shoes. <laughs> Tennis, baseline, 
Won't go. Dingleshaw rebound. Tannis ball bounces around. Let's see who finally on the flow should have a jump ball it is. Looked like a hot tamale for a minute the way that ball was going off everybody's fingertips. Yeah, nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted it. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Or everybody wanted it. They were just trying to think about it. They were trying to grab it before it got to them. Now Williams off the inbound. She's double teamed, uses her speed. And nice, oh, nice no look pass inside to Fernandez. We're gonna have a foul. Yeah, foul on the Lady Hilltoppers. Off the inbound, nice feed uh, inside to Where's the strong. call, where's the call? Rebound, Holly for Durfee. Now Torres. Torres now. Over to Callahan. Thinking about driving. Big right hand. Oh, that's blocked by Tennis. What a nice move. More great interior defense for the boxers. Beautiful timing on the block by Tannis. Yeah, she came, she rotated right over and just got all ball. Off the inbound, they swing it around Chin from Hawley to Callahan. Callahan tried to work back to Hall, a little give and go in the delay. That's blocked in front, great defense, Brockton. Here comes Dinkle now. Montero, her float off the glass and she's fouled. She'll go to the charity stripe for a couple. And they're going to call that on Sterling. Yeah, I think Montero needs to get a few more looks. They need to get it to her a little bit more. Yeah, she's been instant offense for the boxers. Hits the first. Boxers are on a big scoring drought there, finally getting some points up. Absolutely. And she hits them both. Nice job from the charity stripe. The lead is two. Free throws, you gotta hit your free throws, that's why they're free. And usually a team that does that wins the game. That pass initially deflected. Hawley trying to drive, we're gonna have a jump ball. Nice job by Tannis. Possession error goes in favor of the boxers. Officially 2.51 left in this half. And is this gonna confirm who went off of? All right, they want to yeah. confirm the possession. So they'll switch possession. That's twice we've had like a possession arrow mishap here. Yeah. Callahan off the inbound. All right, they put 19 seconds on the shot clock. And now we're ready to play ball. Off the inbound, that's tipped. And then I'm gonna say it was last touch by Fernandez of yeah. Brockton. Yeah, good defense by Fernandez. With her hands up, she jumped up and blocked that inbound pass. Holly, oh, losing the ball is Cruz. Cruz regains, tries to inside the Holly. Tight situation there. They're working around the Thorn now back out to Cruz. Long shot. Won't go. It was Fernandez on the rebound. Brockman. In comes Montero. Lost the ball for a moment. She regroups. And Amazon with a little floater from the baseline. Won't go. Rebound Montero for Brockton. And we have a uh, travel prior uh. to the violation. Oh, it certainly tough looked call. like a foul before the whistle. But. Yeah, I, I, that looked like a foul before any traveling occurred. So instead of dropping a colorful metaphor, you'll hear me say, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a change of possession. 
2.20 officially left in this half. Brockton up by two. Now Callahan. Over to Torres. From the other side. Oh, nice job recovered by Cruz. Back out to Cruz. Baseline blocked by Fernandez. That's two for her, folks. And yeah, Brockton's long. They they get a lot of, they deflect a lot of balls. They get a hands on the yes. balls a lot. I mean, Fernandez got long arms. And she definitely. uses them to her advantage. Now, just like that, Callahan driving baseline. And they're going to say she stepped out of bounds. And right there is one of the official, Rich Lopes. Yeah, that was caused by good defense by the boxes. Yeah, their defense, they extend their arms. And it just, it's an extra inch that you, you don't have a chance to shoot the ball. And Absolutely. It's definitely affecting the Hilltoppers. Montero. Mazine inside to Fernandez. She lost the ball. Nice defense by Durfee. Callahan will slow it down. She'll go to the top of the loop it over to Torres. Long shot. Won't go. It's kicked. We'll say it was last touched by either Fernandez or Amazon. With 137 left in this half. And just before we go to our break. Miles Jackson and Chris Bacon will have a breakdown of the first half. Now Callahan, Torres. Four seconds on the shot clock. Baseline shot. Here we go. Last touched by Durfee. Box is still having a tough time just squeezing that ball after a shot goes up. A lot of second it, opportunities for exactly. the Exactly, they're too busy slapping the ball on, on the rebounds when they should be grabbing yeah. the ball. Even there again, it results in Brogdon's ball, but it goes out of bounds. You gotta come down with that rebound and it leads to fast break opportunities. Off the inbound, fast break Brogdon, Dingo inside to Fernandez, she pulls, oh nice move inside, tried to get the hook, it can't finish. The ball's tipped, and they're gonna say it was last touched by Brogdon, it will be. She got away with the travel there too. Yeah. It will be Durfee's ball, officially 103 left in the half. Brockton up by two. Torres inside, oh, little miscommunication, but somehow they regroup inside and now we'll have, we'll have a. Brockton's light. offense just looks out of sorts these last couple of possessions. They just, they have, I don't think they've gotten any good shot opportunities. No, they haven't. That foul was on Oko. Long three for Torres, hits! And we've seen her do that from the baseline in this first half. And I was just about to say, I mean, the shots Durfee's getting are better than Brockton's. And Fernandez inside to Oka. She's trying to regroup, we'll have a jump ball. That young lady just took on two Durfee Hill toppers all by herself under the paint. Well, she's about the size of two of them together. Yeah. Now Dingo baseline won't go. Fernandez, she lost control of the ball, knocked away. Here comes Durfee, 26 seconds left in the half. Uh, that's travel. That's gotta be. Gonna get her offensive, offensive there. Foul. Yeah, she came up with the elbow. And she traveled. That was a choice for the ref there. He got, had a lot of choice to pick from. Well, this is what Brockton did in the first, in the first period. Let's see if they can do the same thing and end it on a positive note. They break up that full court press. Baseline shot, bounce, and she gets the roll Oko. for two. Shooter's touch. This can be. This could be the last shot. Let's see what happens. Six. Torres, long three. That's blocked. And there's your score after the first half. Your score: Brockton 20, Durfee 19. Guys, your thoughts one half down. I will tell you, two things with two or three things with Brockton. Miss way too many shots, especially inside. Um, they're not aggressive enough on, on the defensive boards. They gotta be a little bit more aggressive and they, they just have a problem holding on to that basketball. If they can correct some of those problems right there, they might be able to come out of here with the win, but you gotta give Durfee credit. These uh, young Hilltoppers really hanging in there with the um, lady boxers. Well, I'm surprised that the fact, like you said, the boxers, their defense is impressive. They I think they've blocked a lot of, they've got like five plus blocks tonight. And they just have not got the offensive rebounds, which is, I mean, they're still ahead, which is somehow, I don't know how, but they are. 
and that's that's big for them. That's why you said extra rebounds. The Hilltopper shots are better. So that is what has made it a one-point game so far. And there you go at that. Your score, Brockton 20, Durfee 19. We'll be back with our thoughts as we start the second half. We'll be back with more right after this. And these first opening minutes for Durfee are going to be huge. They got a, it's an even game. I think it's going to stay an even game, but we'll see what happens. I, I expect the boxers to come out with some intensity here and try to push this lead up to 10. As Torres walks it on to Cruz. Callahan now spins. Tries to go inside, back out to Cruz baseline. All the way at the top of the key. Callahan trying to drive. And we are going to have a foul on. On tennis, tennis. I believe. Yep. Yeah. All right, so here we go off the inbound after that first foul of the half, first half. Callahan thought about, thought about a hollow, Holly, excuse me, back to Callahan, back to Holly, baseline floater hits. You know, Lady Hilltop is doing a nice job when they get in the paint, bouncing that bounce, low bounce pass to their teammate where it's tougher to the defense Yeah, you to can't reach it. down. It, they're very good at that. They, their interior passing is good. A lot of bodies around there, and yeah. that's big. And the boxes answer back with two. Around they go, Cruz. Gentlemen, I'm gonna have to stand for a minute. I can't see over that coach, I apologize. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I could do that, I guess. That's what I usually have to do. You know, yeah, right that's because you're smarter than me, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> I and never, short. And, yeah. <laughs> Off the inbound in the Brockton end. Torres thinking that's a travel all day. You gotta bounce the ball, young lady, before you walk. You learn to dribble before you can walk. Yeah, I believe she's one of the JV players they brought up. Yeah. To play she's done a, nice, she's done a nice job though. I mean, JV players for them have played outstanding. Yeah, you gotta give them credit. They're really hanging in there. Yeah, definitely. Now Brockton opens it up. Williams to Williams on that one. Driving inside the tennis. Yes. That shot scared me a little bit. I thought she put it off the glass and she just floated it up there. You hope, you know, those type of shots. Yeah, you always, always want to hit that cylinder, that square. That yeah. is, that's what makes it go in. Dingle stands in front of that one. She's going to try to go the, all, the whole way. She can't finish. Yeah, tough break for Dingle. She got down there, but she couldn't quite get it up in that 90 degree. Uh, angle up there. At the end of that first half, the, we said the boxers, their offense wasn't that great. And since bringing back in uh, both the Williams sisters, that their offense is just, they get open looks. There's more gravity towards the Williams sisters. Williams for three. Too strong. Rebound, Durfee. Now Torres, her jump shot. Oh, she'll get fouled. Got to call it with the hand in the cookie jar there. Yeah. That was on the senior Williams, of course. That is Elizabeth Williams. No, I'm sorry. That's Alexandra Williams. She's only a sophomore? Yeah. Yep. Only a sophomore. Fantastic player for sophomore year. Misses the first. Brockton has extended their lead to three with 6-12 left in the third quarter. Hits the second. Tannis over to Fernandez now. All the way out to Williams, inside the Tannis. She'll take it off the bounce and finish. Wow, I saw some contact, but no call. Williams, the great entry pass. You too. mean when she had that arm in front of her face? <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, the referees are letting them play, but gee. All the way to the far side perimeter. Torres thinking about it. she's double teamed over to Callahan. Callahan dribbles inside and staying in front of the in front of that was Fernandez out to Williams. Williams off the glass nicely with the right hand and finishes. Yeah, beautiful pass by Fernandez to lead her to the to the open uh, basket. 
And I think that's the boxer's biggest lead of the game. Her second, team, team second. Off the inbound. A nice try by Williams trying to knock that one down. Torres has a look for three. She throats it high up the glass. Covered by the box and here comes Dingle. Dingle to Williams. Lost control of the ball. Covered by Durfee. Dingle steps in front of that and lays it off the glass. Nice alert play by Dingle. Stole the ball and put it right off the glass and in. Yeah, she didn't put her head down. She looked up. She played defense. And I hope her brother's watching because she, she could learn. The brother could learn something from the sister. <laughs> and he's a very good ball player himself on the boys team. All right, here's your situation. Guys, let's talk about it. I'll, I'll let them know when we come back after the timeout. Your thoughts so far, guys. Well, I, I, finally, the boxes are hitting some shots. And the way they're getting their shots is playing good defense. Got a couple of fast breaks on defense, and uh, that's why they got it. That's why they have an eight-point lead. Uh, we saw that in the first half, the same type of stuff, but they were missing those layups, and that's deflating. All right, so we kind of lost our audio for a minute. Don't know what happened. I know we're in, so we're gonna keep on rolling with it. I think it'll come back. It's gotta come back. No. There's one. That's in. All right, so here we go. We're gonna have to cheat now. Yeah. Here's your situation. 5-12 left in the third quarter. 30 to 22, Brockton. Now Torres. She gets double teamed by the Williams. And now Chen Hai won't finish. Tip Torres, excuse me, Tannis to Williams. And this time she finishes with the left hand off the glass. Beautiful. Another offensive play off score off a of defense. Great defense by the boxes. Yeah, the runouts are huge for uh, Brockton. Callahan. Nice moves by her. Back and forth they go. Top of the perimeter. Top of the key. She drives inside to Cruz. Baseline. Overshoots it. Tannis. Long pass. This time Williams again. She had to put a little stutter move on that. She saw someone coming out of the back of her corner of her eye. Yeah, Brockton's really figured something out here when they get a defensive play. One of the uh, Williams sisters just breaks for it, and they know to throw the touchdown pass. Well, I think what's been different this half is they're grabbing the rebounds. There's no tip. Wow. And yeah, exactly. They're grabbing the yes, ball on and the, the rebound. They see the open man ahead, and it's just an easy two. And then just off that, Torres just hit a three from the baseline. Now to Williams. The box is trying to answer. And we're going to have a three-second violation. Yeah, that was on Fernandez. It had, yeah, it had to be. All right, she was the only one coming out of the paint. That last trip for Durfee was big. That was a timely three. I mean, they were just about, you never know, the score was heading in the wrong direction for Durfee. That was huge. Under 340, approaching 340 left in the third quarter. And getting her pocket picked as King picks a pocket. Williams again off the layup and in. Williams has set up tent down there. Yes, he has totally taken advantage of Durfee's breakdown on defense. Your score, Brockton 36, up by 11 now. They've extended their lead to 11. 36 25, 325 left in this quarter. Wow. And that's just great coaching by Morgan Thatcher. Uh, saw something on Durfee's defense and just had um, one of the Williams sisters there, I Alexandra. believe Alexandra, just hang back a little bit. And when Brockton gets the rebound and they're grabbing them, like Chris said, and they're just looking up front um, ahead and throwing that touchdown pass. Yeah, exactly. They're grabbing the rebound this half. And in the first half, the story was tips here and maybe they still get the rebound, but that defender is back by now. There's nobody open down the court. All right, so here we go again. 3:35 left in the third quarter. Brockton up by 11, as you can see. 36-25. Miles Jackson, Chris Bacon, I'm Dominic Damiano, and the rest of the Brockton Community Access Sports Crew. As we give you our Friday game of the week in this Southeast Conference matchup. 
Now Cruz covered by Williams. Tries to go around her, stops. Gets herself to the top, works around two Williams. Nice move by the young lady, spinning and turning. And that's definitely a double dribble. I haven't seen that in hand indication in a while on a basically a travel call. They usually just call it travel, but that's the old double dribble. Some, uh, yeah, that, one, that was a little outdated. Yeah. They don't call that anymore. Not like that. He's called the travel. Now King over to Williams. Tanner's the young lady. Hitch gets herself and in and tries to finish. If she gets fouled, and she'll go to the charity stripe for a couple. Yeah, nice job by uh, Fernandez to get the inside position on the rebound. Held onto the ball and put it right back up and got fouled. And that's that's a second chance opportunity for the boxers. That was something Durfee thrived on in the first half. She misses her first. Here's her second shot, a couple changes for the Hilltoppers and the Boxers. As Uka, Uka, excuse me, Uka checks in, the big girl, number 21. Now Cruz, the point guard, approaching three minutes left in that first third quarter, excuse me. Callahan gets herself to the top of the key. Works her way up over to Cruz, long shot. Rebound Brockton. And it's one and done for the Hilltoppers. They're not getting second chances as they did in the first half. They get a practice inside more with Oka. She is so gifted. And yeah. you, can, you can tell she she's just, get she's just raw. She hasn't yeah. doesn't look like she's played enough. Yep, she's a junior. Two for Brockton on that one. Now Callahan, Cruz, tries to work it inside, and we're gonna have a push on King. I mean, she definitely affects shots, though. You, you're gonna think twice before you're gonna take a layup over her or any shot over her. So it'll be Durfee's ball in the inbound, on the inbound, in the Brockton end, Cruz, Callahan, inside to Holly, back outside, to Torres, Torres's floater, hits! Wow. That was Tough a nice shot, shot yeah. yeah. Now in transition, Williams. They're gonna call that prior to the shot, I believe. Now off the inbound, can't finish, Fernandez! Oka there to clean it up. She can't finish rebound Durfee. At least she grabbed it and threw it back up there. She just couldn't quite finish it. And they're, they're getting their second chance opportunities this half. Yeah. That, that was something they did not do in the first half. Oh, Brockton had a quick turnover covered by Torres. Cruz baseline for three, hits. That's a five point swing right there. This young Durfee team, this scrappy team, like Miles said, they're not going away. The lead is down to nine. And to think they, they have not won a game, that, that is surprising me. They are, they are very good. And there she is. And, and they're missing their centers. Yeah. Both centers. Right, five call-ups from JV. That's, that's yeah. outstanding. Regardless of what happens today, you've got to be happy if you're the coach. And remember, you're missing a 20-game 20, a 20 point score, too. Yeah. And the SEC leading rebounder in the yeah. conference. Oka trying to finish too hard on that one. Torres now bounce pass to Holly. She can't finish. Rebound Brockton. Long pass Williams. Oh, too strong. Everyone looking tired right now. Alexander Williams tried to hit Elizabeth Williams. I apologize. Elizabeth Williams tried to hit Alexander Williams. Needless to say, we got 59.4 tenths of a second left. An 11 point Brockton lead. Now Cruz. Frustration showing late in this quarter. Oh, nice job by Fernandez initially blocking. Great try by King to try to keep it in play. Yeah, you say great job by Fernandez. Hands up on defense. That'll that'll um, manufacture turnovers. Yeah, you're gonna get hands on the ball. It's, it's gonna change the direction of the ball. That, that helps exactly. a lot. Exactly. 
Now Cruz trying to go around King, double teed by Williams. Tries to hurl a little floater, in and out won't go. Rebound Brockton, long pass. Williams, right position, right time, hard lap and finishes. Williams playing like a wide receiver on yeah. that one. She fought her way to the ball, she made a play and she gets the end one. Playing like any? Jerry Rice. Yeah, you know what I was gonna say, well here's a look at this guy, watch how she finishes, of course she's right under the hoop. Kind of a ticky tack foul, but. Yep. And nice. those are always so tough, you wanna contest it, but yeah. you can't be doing that on a layup. Exactly. And I've been there myself. Eight, eight out of 10 times they're gonna call a foul. Yep. Right. Hits it, finishes a three-point play. Testament to Williams, though. Strong finish. She doesn't. She didn't give up on it, and she laid it in. Cruz over to Torres. There is .7 seconds between the game clock and the shot clock. Cruz, Torres inside, intercepted by Williams, gets out to a to see if she runs with it. She does, baseline over to Dingle. Last touched by the Hilltoppers. It'll and be Brockton's ball with 7.6 tenths of a second, guys. And that was a smart play by Alexandra. She was out of bounds, and she could easily touch the ball, but she was at, she knew she was out of bounds, and she just let the ball go. Yeah, thinking on the fly there. Yeah, thinking on the fly. So Tennis just got fouled. She'll go to the charity stripe and have a chance to add to the Brockton lead. The boxers already have scored 24 this quarter, and they scored 20 in the first half. That's that's quite something. Oh, too much on that one. Gets doesn't get the roll. Here's her second shot. I don't know how the girls can play with long hair. Hits the second one. Five seconds. Shot clock off. Two. One, Torres for three. Oh, off the rim. Guerrero. That's not what's on my list. <laughs> well, I, I tell you, you got to get, again, give Coach Morgan Thatcher credit coming out in that second half. And the, the, the offensive scheme is if we get the defensive rebound, look up to um, Alexandra, I guess. Uh, Coach Thatcher told her, hang around midcourt, and if you get the rebound, look up and throw that touchdown pass because they scored quite a bit of points okay. on that play. Uh, there was like 10 straight on that, too. That was big, and there must have been a talk at halftime, again, grabbing the rebound. Let's get the yes. ball, let's secure it, and yes. let's look look up. Look up. That's all you got to do. Grab the rebound and look up. So great um, coaching job by Coach Thatcher and at, and the, at halftime. And I, I think what's catching up also to uh, Durfee's testament is they, they're they short. They don't have all their players, obviously. Their bench is thin, and uh, the boxers are running the court. That's got to be tiring for oh, Durfee. Exactly. they they got to be gassed right now. I yeah. mean, they're only down 15 still. Like, it's not over, but that was a huge quarter for the boxers. Yeah, see, and, and like, that's the problem. They gassed. I mean, you're in the fourth quarter now. You put 110% in the hanging with the boxers. But and they don't have a strong bench, so uh, this is what happens. Yeah, and they they're missing a 20-point game score. That it's going to be tough to get baskets. That's where you want to put your energy. Now off the just like that in the Brockton end, they're going to say we'll have a push off Durfee. And like like we said in the first half, like those transition points are huge. You, Huge. You play for 30 seconds on the shot clock on one end, and the other team gets a wide open shot right away. Williams for three, won't go. Rebound Carrero, now we got it right. I don't know why it was on our list last time, but hey, we fixed it now. That's Cruz, Carrero. To the far side, baseline. That won't, that won't go, that's Torres now. And we're gonna have a push in the back called on. I think they're gonna call they're gonna call that on the Moors, right? That's a tough last name, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm trying my best. Jay, take it out. Jay. Ashley. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Coach. Good call. <laughs> Around the perimeter, almost stolen by Williams. Carrero oh. now. She's a freshman, so you got four years to get her name get right. Her yeah, name there you right. go. Yeah, there you go. That's Torres right there. Over to Carrero. Williams almost stolen again. Ashley. 
Nice call by her. Floater wow. hits. Uh, the floaters from the Hilltoppers tonight. They, they had one that went out right before, in and out before that, but they must practice that a lot. That's intercepted. Now Holly. Holly might try to run. She is. Lost the ball, but right there was was Holly. And Demois, she's gonna try to finish. Little off the glass. That's a uh, nice clean that play was a by nice Williams. Stop and pop. She, she used the backboard. She didn't yes. do that in the, early in the first half. She had one wide open like that. Yep. She saw the defense close in on. She just stopped and popped off the glass. She, she must have been upset of herself after that first half. She missed a lot of layups. And nah, you know she's, what? she's proving us wrong right now. I don't think you're too far from the truth on that one either. Thinking about driving. This is Torres now. It's her Florida blocked by Williams. Gives it to the other sister, Williams, with the right hand off the glass and in. Yeah, really, Durfee doesn't have an answer for that scheme that uh, that Coach Datcher has put in in the second half. Yeah, absolutely. They, she's just hanging back. She plays her defense on her initial man. and Holly now, covered by Williams, almost lost the ball. Now Carrero. I thought that was a jump ball, no call. Torres out to Carrero, covered by Williams. She gets triple teamed on the top of the key. Works it on the base on the floater off the glass, won't care. Holly's blocked as she was under the cylinder, couldn't finish. Now trying to work it out again, here's Cruz. Her floater, and falls. The floater game for the Hilltoppers yeah, working. Yeah, nice hustle by the Hilltoppers. Yeah. I, I'll tell you what's big about the fast break points is she's the only one down there. So when the Hilltoppers bring the ball back up, their whole defense is still set up. No one moves down here on this end. And exactly. that's free points and your transition defense is already set up. And that'll put the Hilltoppers in the penalty and help the boxers go into the win the bonus at one and one right now. Yeah, I like how you say that, Chris. Free points. I mean, it's basically they've made every pl uh, um, point on, on that type of play yeah. in the second half. They, they have to have over like 20 on that just yeah. alone. And one-on-one -on -one here already for uh, the boxers is huge, especially if this game uh, gets closer, it, it's gonna hurt the Hilltoppers. Yeah. yeah, nice job by Ashley to put that ball up high off the glass and in. So we got that one, now we have a violation called on the inbound against Durfee, it'll be Brockton ball in the Durfee end again. Williams for three. Bang. All day. Well, I mean, Williams was there all day. She asked for it. Clapped her hands. You know, it's even funny. Before the half, she was practicing that from every angle on the top of the key, right around the, right around the horseshoe, you know? I'm not sure, guys, but I don't know if Durfee knows that Williams is scoring all the points tonight. Yeah. Now King with her hustle. And she's fouled. God, I love her speed. That was great hustle. And it... Brockton's just quicker to the ball right now. They're, uh, and Durfee must be gassed. They do not have all their guys, obviously, but it, Brockton's quicker to the ball. They're making all the extra plays, and it's really resulting 20-point lead right here. Yeah, the Lady Boxers have a good bench that can come in and fill in for the starters. And you didn't see that in the first half. That no. Nobody was really stepping up. The second half has been the exact opposite. Yeah, the Lady Boxers were very cold in that first half especially in the inside game, but they've really lit it up here in the second half. Yeah, already scoring 34 and not even halfway through the fourth. Here's King's second shot. Rebound, oh, we're gonna have a jump ball. Possession arrow goes in favor of the Hilltoppers. Again, the boxers quicker to the ball, they force a tie up and they change the arrow. Now Cruz. There's Carrero covered by King. Another foul on King. Her third, team fifth, if my memory serves correctly. You usually you know your favorite players fouls a lot, you know, when they're playing. <laughs> And we'll have a miscommunication on the pass. It'll be Brockton's ball. Yeah, and with Kanari King, three fouls, and she comes off the bench. 
that tells you she's really hustles out there on defense. Yeah, she's getting in all the action. She's yeah. in every play, and that's, that's good to see. And she's going to get a rest. And Dingle is back in there. That's when you have a bench like that. Williams on the inbound. They go to the full court press. Fernandez. Amazon bang. for bang, baby. And certainly a lot of pressing from the Hilltoppers. We saw it early in the game, and at this point, they just, they must be gassed. Carrero trying to use nice diversion baseline. Cruz inside, and Brockton steps in front of that one. And Fernandez knew it. Yeah. See, see the smile on her face? Yeah. Oh, I knew I did that wrong. <laughs> so it'll be Durfee ball now. Exactly four minutes left in the game. And you can see your score 56 six to 34. On the inbound. They work it around the perimeter. Out to Carrero, covered by Williams. Her long jump shot won't go. Rebound. Durfee, another long shot won't go. Tipped. Recovered by the Hilltoppers. Another floater hits Carrero. Well, Durfee's, st Durfee's still scrappy. Still scrapping on, on, on them offensive boards. Th three chances there. Fernandez uses her height, not enough on it. She lost it, we'll have a foul. And that's really the first time I've seen that this half. That was a huge issue in the first half, and they that Boxer fixed it other than that one possession right there. Yeah. That will be called on Fernandez. That's sixth, the sixth team foul for the Boxers. One more, and then they go into the bonus. They'll put uh, Durfee in the bonus. Carrero. Tries to use a pick off Torres. She's double teamed. Over to Torres. Long three. Won't go. Tipped. Tipped again. I like what I've seen from the boxers tonight, though. It's their game is an old school game, really. They don't shoot a lot of threes, and they've made a couple tonight, but that's more of what the new game is, the new era of shooting threes. But they, they've really gone inside tonight. Yeah, they have. And, um, and Carrera, they, were, and they, they were cold in the first half with the inside game, but they've um, done a much better job in the second Definitely. half with their inside game and their fast breaks. Definitely. And that all comes back to the, the defensive end and – Defense. Rebounding the ball and looking up. Basically, defense manufactures offense. Definitely. And that's a perfect example we've seen tonight. We got Williams running free at the end of the at the other end of the court off of Miss Durfee shots. Yeah, and you're right, running free. Yeah, there's no one to stop her. Carrero hits the second. Timeout, timeout, Durfee. Your score, Brockton 56, Durfee 38. 257 left in the game. And now both teams are in a penalty, gentlemen. Well, uh, if Durfee's going to have any chance, they got They can't really let the boxers score anymore. That's about what it comes down to. Uh, both teams in the bonus, which um, favors the boxers, clearly. Yeah, and, and the way the boxers are playing, they've really warmed up here in the second half, and it's really, I mean, they really have to have some type of collapse for uh, Durfee to get back in this ball game. Yeah. You know, they, they're trying their hardest, Durfee, the Lady Hilltop is trying their hardest, but right now they're just, like you said, spent on energy, and uh, the box is just a better team. Yes, definitely. If I didn't know this official <laughs> looking right at me, I'm trying not to look at him. That's Rich Lopes, he's a very good official. Very good official. Hey, he's done a good job tonight. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, the ref, they, like you said, they've done a pretty good job tonight. They missed a, they missed a few calls, but overall they've, they've well, done a good I job. I think what a good thing about makes you a better ref than other refs is the game doesn't get out of hand. Yeah. There's no, like, fighting. There's nothing about that. And that, that's a good thing to see. It's seeing just a clean basketball game tonight. Yeah. Oh. I ain't playing. 
<laughs> sure you don't have a jersey on? I, I don't know. Yeah, navy blue one. Jeffrey could use you right now. Now King driving the hole down, right down. Whoa. Oh, nice floater by, by King. Nice job going right into the paint, throwing up the floater. Yeah, she took an explosive move. She took off. Exactly. Now Carrero. There's a light goes out on us. Or something. And they, they haven't even used her much tonight. She, she can score hits. the ball. That girl is she what been, you call dangerous. Yeah, she's been doing it all night. Yeah, Durfee's going to need a lot of that right now if they're going to have any chance of winning this game. King now steps in front of that pass. She's going to try to finish. And, oh, too strong. Rebound on the floor. Say it was last touched by King. She almost got her own, own, own rebound. Yeah, and you're right, um, Dominic. A little bit too strong on that, um, lay, on lay, that layup. She did have some good defense on her. Well, right now, um, it's it's all time. The the clock is the boxer's friend, and she wasted some time doing that, if anything. Now Carrero missed. Now she's going to try to wow. finish the other way. Tough angle. Uka nice finishes. Nice job there. That was all king, though. Yeah, it was. The hustle, get yep. down there, and Oko just basically came up and cleaned it up. Yeah. Finished the job. No one to box her out. She had an easy two. They work it all the way over for a long three for Torres. Too, too strong. It will be Brockton's ball. Officially 138 left in the game. And the great the great thing about that Oko points were she when she got the rebound, she held on to the ball. Yeah, she kept it high. There's nobody yeah. to bring it down. You bring the ball down, you see a lot of centers, yeah. NBA, all levels of uh, basketball. They bring the ball down, and they get it stripped. For three, won't go. Look up. Now in transition, here comes Durfee. Carrero's been very dangerous all day. Baseline three, and she's fouled. She will go to the charity stripe for three, gentlemen. Well, that, that's something you don't want to do if you're the boxers. You don't want to put anybody at the line. The clock stops. It's yeah. going to be free free throws now, and she's got three of them coming up. Especially and this girl. Especially she's Torres. Been hot. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. been hot all night. Well, she misses. She finally missed the shot. Man. And I'm just wondering where she wasn't here on the official um, varsity yeah, she team. Was one of she, our late, she was one of our late a, villains. Is she a junior varsity player? I believe so. Well, she, she needs to be moved up to varsity. Yeah. I mean, she's a pretty good player. Who's number 24? Yes. Yeah, she's not on it. Right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's definitely provided the scoring punch tonight. Hits the next one. And I, I, I tell you, Dominic, um, Tori, she's wearing a nice pair of sneakers there, too. What's she wearing? Yeah, they're a colorful. Nice pair, the colorful. Oh, nice. LeBron's, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Kid had a great game tonight. Wow. Oh, my, if she Maybe landed, she can if, sell okay, those on eBay. If Montero landed that shot, that would have been the shot of the year yeah. right there. Because she went, once the body contact happened, she went flying. She did. I don't even know how she got that upper right here to try to put up the glass. I would end up with the cheerleaders back there if that was me. <laughs> <laughs> so she'll go to the line and shoot a couple and add to the Brockton lead. Brockton's staying aggressive, too. They, they have not, like, taken the air out of the ball. Sometimes that's the worst thing you can do. You stagnant offense second. you get. And they've had to stay aggressive with this Lady Hilltoppers because – even though they've, they've lost that um, energy or drive, they're still scrapping in yeah, there. Yeah, they, they, they still fight for the yeah, ball. They, they, yes. I mean, they, they got 44 points tonight. That, that's pretty good for a team without their 20 point score and their leading rebounder. Recovered by, by the. Uh, ooh, I thought she traveled there for a minute. Well, it had to be something there. Long shot clock won't go. I was trying to cheat to look at the monitor, but I wanted to actually see it in live time. All right, so with that being said, it'll be Brockton's ball with 42.3 tenths of a second left in the game and a very impressive lead for Brockton. 
Oh, nice job by Montero. Can't too strong. Give a little Rebound. Euro step there. Now trying to finish, going hard. That's tipped. In come the boxes, Mon Montero. Dingo was thinking, she does her floater in it from the baseline. I think she got away with one day on the step, but. The shot made up for it. Yeah. yeah. Inside pass, Montanez back out top of the key, won't go. And that's how your game will end with your score, Brockton 63, Durfee 44. Guys, your thoughts before we send it away. Well, I take, I, I give that win to um, Coach Thatcher because she said something to the, and made a game plan and for that second half. And Brockton was a totally different team in that second half and their scheme on the defensive rebound and one of the um, Williams girls was waiting for that touchdown pass, and they just kind of ran away with it there. Um, basically, Durfee just didn't have enough firepower to stay with this um, taller and more talented Brockton team. It, again, yes, a great point. Um, they out, almost outscored Durfee themselves 43 points in the second half. That's unbelievable compared to what they did in the first half. They didn't have a great first half, but they went in, made adjustments, made their layups, made their free throws, and they got the, their hands on the ball. They squeezed the ball, rebounding, and that, that was big. And again, for Durfee, uh, they don't have a win this year, but you're going to have to convince me otherwise that they're not going to win. They're a scrappy team. Yeah. I like what I see from some of their younger players tonight, too. For Chris Bacon, Miles Jackson, I'm Dominic Damiano. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of Brockton High School Girls Basketball. We will catch you next time. Everyone have a fantastic weekend.